Hey guys, welcome back to South LA Recap, and today... Hey, you're always in here making these videos. Where are you gonna take me for Valentine's Day? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the South LA Recap. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to learn more about videos about South LA and LA on the regular. This week, I've got a list of the best date ideas you can try this Valentine's Day, whether you're taking out someone special or enjoying some single time for yourself. This list includes five places to explore, eat, and play in South LA. So let's get into it. First up on the list is Kenneth Hahn State Recreation Area or Kenneth Hahn Park. If you're from LA, you're likely familiar with this expansive park on the far west side of South LA. There are tons of romantic ideas that you can try here. You can have an intimate picnic by the creek or lake toward the entrance of the park. If you're into hiking, the Kenneth Hahn Park has a series of trails that are perfect for amateur and experienced hikers. Or you can visit the tranquil Japanese garden where you can enjoy lush plants, koi fish, Japanese design, and even overlook parts of Los Angeles. And just a heads up, the park is free to enter during the week if you're driving, but during the weekend and holidays, you'll have to pay $6 per car. Next up on this list is some fine dining at home. Let's be honest, COVID-19 has ruined indoor dining and the second wave of closures in LA reduced available outdoor dining. But at last, takeout still stands and quasi-fine dining takeout might just make you or your date happy. Treat yourself or your partner to Harold and Bell's in Jefferson Park. Built in 1969, this place has made its name for bringing high quality New Orleans cuisine to the humble streets of Los Angeles. My personal favorite is their etouffee with shrimp and crawfish. One serving is enough for two, but I don't blame you if you get greedy. Mm. Do you love me now? I always love you, dear. <laughs> but yes, I love you more, because this is good. <laughs> Now, if you must eat outside, I might just have an option for you. In the historic South Central area, you can visit Delicious at the Dunbar, which is a Southern Angelino fusion restaurant that sits on the ground floor of the historic Dunbar Hotel. We visited this restaurant in a previous food crawl, but you can come here as early as 9 a.m. for breakfast and dine until closing at 6 p.m. on Sunday. This restaurant offers outdoor dining, but don't forget to reserve a table on its website if you plan on sitting outside. If you're trying to make it to second base this Valentine's Day, why not try Rex's baseball batting cage in West Athens? That's right, a batting cage in South LA. This cozy complex has eight cages that offer automatic high velocity pitching for beginners and pros alike. You can drive right in and test your swing in minutes. Keep in mind that this place is cash only, but you don't have to worry about equipment. You can rent a bat and helmet for just 50 cents. Now the last place on the list is my personal favorite, Casa Valentine Inn on Avalon Boulevard, which is under new management by the way. Come here for a night that you'll never remember. No, I'm kidding, it's a terrible idea. I, I just kinda want it to be funny, sorry. No, for real, the last place to visit on this list is my favorite park in South Los Angeles, which is Magic Johnson Park. I recently covered the improvements that Los Angeles County has made at this park, and now it's really worthwhile. There's new plant life, a brand new walking path, and a renovated lake. You can even set up a picnic at one of the naturally socially distant tables around the lake. If this place won't be the only place that you go on a date, it will be a beautiful way to end a date. That's it for this date list. So if you didn't know dating in South LA could be done, even with COVID-19, now you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take someone out before there won't be another episode of the South LA Recap. Thanks guys, and I'll see you around on the Recap.